hello everybody welcome to Kanshir Nepal YouTube channel again um, today I am just uh, gonna show you how we can auto capture the GPS location by using Cobo toolbox program you know this is gonna be day 14 for the Cobo toolbox uh, program that I'm gonna cover you know so I'm gonna open this my sample file location if you look at my program file here are the two uh, questions that I already have done so uh, to capture the gps location of your places uh, you don't need to think about uh, the complex uh, logic about this you just uh, write to is start dash g e o p o p o i n t zero point you know and name gonna be like location g p s that's is it you know now it will capture your latitude altitude longitude and precision point of your GPS location you know so let's save this program I'm gonna upload this program into my Cobo toolbox and upload XLS form I'm gonna drag down this program here and just uploading the XLS file and you need to choose any one of the sector you need to choose your country Nepal for now and create a project and deploy program and let's collect the data set there is a some kind of notification that you know your location you know and if you download this program onto your tablet and it will ask to open your GPS location uh, before initiating the survey you know and if you once uh, click OK and accept your GPS location and then it will auto capture your GPS location you know mango apple and this program is kind of like unselected item will be displayed in uh, the multiple search question and let's uh, take another one survey it's automatically auto track gps location one was successfully submitted you know and i am also going to take another one survey and submit there are two data sets that i have uploaded on, on the server and it refresh and the server ones and if you download this data into the XLS format you will see that there will be the separate column for the longitude latitude and altitude and also precision level of your the data set you know let's download and see our data set you know there are the four or five columns you know this one is the overall this one is latitude this one is longitude this one is altitude and this one is the precision level of your data set you know in this way you can capture your gps location um, from the copper toolbox without any complicated logic you know so this is it for today and goodbye for now